hello guys welcome back to topic chemistry study so the d day is here everybody has been waiting for this particular day so many people have been asking me sir when will you drop the video on the much repeated topics in physics so finally finally i've had chance to do the video right now okay so so the video is going to be in two parts the part one will be first 10 of the most repeated topics then part two will be from 11 to 20 of the most repeated topics so before we get into the main video remember i told you guys that i'm I had this formula book I compiled for my students last year. Yeah, the, the formula book contains all the necessary topics, uh, all the necessary formulas you need to know before entering the hall for your physics champ. Okay, so for you to have access to that, that formula book, click the link in the comments and then join my WhatsApp channel through the link. But before doing that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel before joining the WhatsApp channel. So let's get straight to it so number one of the most repeated topics it took me three days to prepare this video or more it wasn't easy I, and also i told you guys i used this past question this 50 past question they arrange the equations topic by topic like for each topic they will now bring out all the equations they have asked on that topic from year 2000 to year 2023 okay so from my research and from everything i did back and forth the number one most repeated topic is sound wave you know when we talk about wave there are so many things that are under wave but under waves like of all the waves sound wave is the most important wave so know your your definition of wave know the types of waves that is electromagnetic waves transverse wave and longitudinal wave know your um, the definition of terms like period velocity frequency crest wavelength and also know their formulas for instance period is one over frequency so know them also know the properties of waves yeah now when you talk about sound wave we should know that wave sound wave is an example of a longitudinal wave also when you now look at that sound wave also you should know how to calculate velocity of a wave that is frequency times wavelength under that sound wave also you should learn your echo you know and also learn characteristics of sound you know your pitch has to do with the your pitch uh, is a factor that depends on uh, frequency then your intensity depends on intensity of the sound then also the third one is quality it depends on overtones so that is it so that is it with the most repeated top that is sound wave is one of the most repeated top. also look at the calculations on that it's that is calculations that has to do with the resonance and overtones is very important <laughs> Okay, so the number two of the most repeated topics. I don't want this video to be too long, so that's why I'm not going into details. So that's it. Okay, so number two of the most repeated topics is heat and change of state. You know when you hear hear, hear of change of state, change of state still means the same thing with latent heat. Latent heat is changing, changing of a substance from a particular state, maybe from a solid state to a liquid state. That's what we call latent heat. Okay, so in this topic, in this uh, topic, you should know definitions of your specific heat capacity you know the definition of your heat capacity you no know, specific heat capacity is different from heat capacity you understand also know the formulas and also under that topic where we have a uh, latent heat you know we have different latent heat we have latent heat of uh, fusion that is when the solid is moving from solid state to liquid state and also we have latent heat of vaporization and the rest so know their calculations know their formulas and their definitions also you should know that okay let me just say this specific heat capacity the formula is h you know h is symbol of specific heat capacity that is mc theta change in temperature mc change in temperature so that is the formula just know your definitions and then the formulas for each of those terms you understand also know the difference between boiling and evaporation and also the rest so <laughs> Let's move on to the third one. The third most repeated topic is okay. So I forgot to add it. They have asked for wave for waves for sound waves. They have asked eight equations on it, and then for for heat and latent heat, they have asked seventy eight equations on it. So for the next one on our list is machines. That is the third most repeated topics from year two to, to, 
when we are 2000 to year 2023. So yesterday I conducted a test for my students on machine and they saw that machine is actually an important topic for jump. Okay, so the under machine, you have to know the definition of machine. Machine is simply any device that when a force is applied at one end, it will resist another force at another end. Okay, so under machines, you should know the formula for MA, that is mechanical advantage, that is load over effort. You should know the formula for velocity ratio. You should know the formula for efficiency, that is mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100. All these are very important. You should also know that under machines, we have uh, your pulley, you have your inclined plane, your, you have your wheel and axle. Know the formulas under each of these, you understand. Also know that under inclined plane, that your velocity ratio is 1 over sine theta. And also under pulleys, you know, pulley, when I mean pulley, you know that diagram that they will not draw circles. So if they give you a diagram in jam if, and ask you what is the velocity ratio of this diagram, just know that the velocity ratio of that diagram is number of circles in that diagram. Hope you understand. So So moving on to the fourth one, that is the fourth most repeated topics in JAM. So for these machines, they have asked 72 questions on it. So the third one, the fourth one, the fourth most uh, repeated topic in JAM is electricity. There is no way you will do your JAM in physics without seeing questions on electricity. You know, when we talk about electricity, we have resistors, capacitance, electric charge, and the rest. Okay, so under this electricity, let me start with capacitance. That is capacitance. When you have about capacitance, what comes to your mind? That is capacitors. What are capacitors used for? They are used in storing electric charges. And when we talk about formula for capacitance, that is charge over potential difference. That is Q over V. And also, what is the formula for energy uh, for for storage of a capacitor? That is half C V square. If you know all this. And now, when we come to the resistor, and also know that capacitors can be arranged in parallel and series. Just be conversant with those ones. And also now we come down to your resistors. When we talk about resistors, know your Ohm's law. Also know when resistors are arranged in parallel and when they are arranged in series. And be conversant with your calculations. It's very important. There is no way you take your jump in physics without seeing the equation on resistors. There is no way. So also know the formula for uh, resistivity and conductivity. And also know other apparatus that are used in measuring electric, electric terms. That is meta bridge and the rest. Okay, so now moving on to the rest. What is the next one? Okay, so under electricity, they have asked how many questions? They have asked 70 questions under electricity so far. So the next one is equilibrium of forces. That is the Abi. That should be our Abi. Am I correct? Okay, that should be our fifth most repeated topics in jam. And they have asked the uh, 60 questions in it so far. Okay, so when we talk about equilibrium of forces, that is you should know that you should know this law. Clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. Mm -hmm. So under this, you should know the principle of moment. That is what I just gave you now. Clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. So also, you should know your calculations on that, uh, this uh, topic. You know, when the, you are given an inclined, when you are given a plane resting on a, on, on a pivot, and they will now tell you that there is a load here, and there is a load here, that you should now calculate the anti-clockwise moment or maybe clockwise moment. You should know how to do the calculations. And also, you should know um, equilibrium of forces in water. That has to do with Archimedes principle, uh, law of flotation, and then your upthrust, conversant with this calculations okay. if you have gone this far in this video and you have not subscribed you know that is very wrong so like this video very important also subscribe what is the essence of liking video like this video so that youtube recommend this video to other jam bites so it's very important for you to like this video let's continue guys so moving on to the next one, that is the sixth most repeated topics in jam. That has to do with motion. You know, when we have, when we talk about motion, we have different types of motion. We have random motion, we have rotational motion, we have oscillatory motion, we have uh, uh, translational motion. All of them, you have to know them. 
there's no calculation in these ones so the next one is you have to know your velocity time graph very important you also know how to do certain calculation and there are so many formulas in this topic so you have to learn all those formulas that's why i compiled that physics book for those of them that don't know how and where to use a particular formula in that physics book i compiled all the formulas topic topic by topic so that is why you need to join this whatsapp channel and then send me a message on whatsapp to get your own uh, physics formula book so under this motion you should, you, should, you should also know your friction you know we have two types of friction that is a uh, static and dynamic friction you should know where they apply and also know the advantages and disadvantages of friction you should also know your centripetal force i'm sure everybody knows the formula for centripetal force that is half mv square over half so that is the fifth most repeated topics so moving on to the next what is the next one the next one is a uh, measurement and dimensions yeah when we talk about measurement you should know uh, instrument that are used to measure a particular thing. You know what meter rule is used to measure, what vernier caliper, what micrometer screw gauge is used to measure for. Also know your fundamental and drive uh, quantities. You know that fundamental quantities, um, quantities, we have just three of them, that is mass, length, and time. And then under derived quantities, we have so many other ones. And derived quantities are gotten from fundamental quantities. Okay, so under dimension is very important. Even if you don't know dimension for any anything better know the dimension for force that so that when you see what is the dimension for force in your physics exam you don't have to start wasting your time calculating simply dimension for force is m l t minus two hope you understand we have also dimension for work which is m l two t minus two we have dimension for area which is l raised to power two we have dimension for volume which is l raised to power three just learn them they are very easy and very easy to understand Next one, that is the eight, uh, eight most repeated topic in physics jam, that is uh, radioactivity and nuclear reactions. So here you know you need to know the definition of uh, radioactivity, that is the, the process by which the nucleus of an atom disintegrates to release energy and heat. Okay, so you should know how to get your half-life. You also have to know the particles that are produced. Most times what they give you in physics, radioactivity, they will give you an equation and tell you and uh, uranium disintegr disintegrates to give you this one and this one they will now ask which particle is um is released it's not up to you to complete that equation it can be helium particle that is alpha particle it can be electron and it can be gamma so you have to be conversant with those ones and also you should know that uh, alpha particle is still the same thing with helium particle you should know and beta particle is the same thing with electron so and also know how to get your decay, decay constants and everything so under this topic we have calculation parts and non-calculation parts and also you should know the difference between uh, fusion and fusion very important so moving on to the next that is ninth most repeated topic that is a um, that is where we have a um, we have momentum and they have asked it eight questions on this topic so under momentum we um you have to know the definition of momentum and you should know the formula for momentum that is mass and its velocity and under this momentum that is where you have newton newton's laws newton's laws of motion you should know newton's first law of motion newton's second law of motion and newton's third law of motion i'm sure that you most of it, the only thing you know is the Newton's third law of motion, that is action and reaction are equal and opposite. That is not the only law you need to know. You need to know the first law, the second law, and the third law. For instance, now, the first law states that objects continue in a state of rest or uniform motion unless acted upon by an external force. You should know the application of this second law and the application of the first law. Hope you understand. Okay, so under this um, momentum you should learn calculations under conservation of uh, momentum is very important so under this momentum too you should learn the calculations on weight of a body in a lift learn the calculations under it too okay so moving on to
to the tenth one that is the last on for this part you know i told you guys this video will be in two parts where you'll be learning where we'll be do, um, treating just the first 10 of the most repeated topics then the second part we go start from 11 to 20. okay so the last one on this part is a um, um, work energy and power you have to know the definition for your work know the definition of energy know the definition of power and also know their formulas know the formula for kinetic energy formula for uh, potential energy you should also know the formula for power and also you should know that uh, kinetic energy is equal to uh, potential energy so very important so this particular topic they have different ways of asking questions on it they have calculation part and non-calculation part so you have to be careful so for you not to miss out in the part two of this video make sure you like this video and just to subscribe